Today's video is brought to you by TalClean, the world's cleanest toothbrush. Now, why you're saying is it the cleanest toothbrush? Well, the TalClean not only cleans your teeth, it also cleans the toothbrush itself and makes it the world's cleanest toothbrush. The base has a UVC light to eliminate 99.9% .9 of the bacteria, and it also has a brush head dryer that keeps bacteria from ever coming back. And the charger is all in one, so everything's nice and ergonomic. The Sonic toothbrush features 40,000 strokes per minute, and its architectural design looks looks great on the countertop in any bathroom. The towel clean also features two modes and comes in two different colors, white and black currently. The towel clean is also very easy to use. You simply plug it in, insert your toothbrush upside down, and here it keeps it clean and away from the environment in your bathroom so you never have to worry about it getting dirty ever again. And what's even better, tech fans, is right now you guys can get 50% off with a discount code that we'll have down below. So check out the towel clean for yourself and keep that potty mouth clean. What's up, tech fans? How about a little rock in your diet? So, tech fans, what's up? Welcome to the rocking edition of the EVGA overclocked edition of the 1060 card. We're also gonna check out its little brother, the standard edition. So now let's jump in, let's check out what comes in the box and then see what this card is all about. <laughs> So first up, folks, you guys remember the Founders Edition of the 1060. Now, this car was pretty good. It overclocked okay, but with the fan turned to full blast and the electricity turned up to maximum, this card, you know, was running a little bit loud, making a lot of noise. Now, this card is a card from EVJ that's Jasically, Jasically, Jasically. It's a brand new word I've created. Jasically. It's like basically, but only jeweler, cooler. No, no, no. But anyways. This card right here is basically a little bit lower than a Founders Edition. This is really the total entry level card from EVJ on the 1060 series. So if you're looking for a card though that you're just gonna slap in your system, you're not gonna worry about overclocking it, you just wanna save the cash. This is the card you might wanna check out. But for today, we're actually here to check out the ACX 2.0 version of the GTX 1060. And this thing has some pretty amazing numbers. Now, inside the box, probably gonna see most of your standard stuff in here. Your cables, oh, cables right here, one cable, two more cables. Let's see here, I've got the card itself though. So, got the card out of the box. There's not really much too much for the box. So you unboxing fans out there who are looking for a grand unboxing, there's just not too much in the box. It's the box, front of the box, back of the box, side of the box, other side of the box, and then the box at the freaking cameraman. <laughs> Missed him by that much, but anyways. Okay, so then, what do we got here? For the accessories, and inside the bag, a dual Molex, a six pin power connector. That's in there. We do have another poster again, once again, which is always cool. Um, we're getting ready to build our new test area, so we will have lots of room for cool posters like this one. Let me try to open it up so you folks can check it out. Let me open it up ever so slowly so you don't rip it or break it. Let me open this bad boy up and slow more here, not to mess it up. Dun, 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 dun. Trying to do this right here. So. Hopefully I'm getting most of this out here. I hope you got folks can see this. So kind of just like bring it up and out. Crazy poster, but anyways, all right, you get this crazy big old gigantosaur poster for your wall. So if you're into that type of shiznik and you want cool shit for your wall, then okay. EVJ's got you covered on that one. Also come with some stickers, a bunch of different types for your overclocking, all that good stuff. You people out there who like stickers, you've got your basically you, your, what's this? Ah. Just a manual about how to plug it in, basically. Nobody really needs that, I don't think, any my audience anyways. Uh, the EVGA little case emblem for sticking in your case if you're down with that. And then last but not least, another little user's guide, you know. 
And then last but not least, we'll take the card out of its uh, anti-static little bag right there, and then we can start checking out the card itself. And as you guys can see, there's just the EVJ logo and a single fan on the front. Now, as far as the card sizing in, the length of the card is 6.8 inches, and the height of the card is 4.376 inches. And like most cards in the market, it also features a dual slot design. As we turn the card to the side, you guys can see it says the EVGA GeForce GTX 1060. It says SC right there and lighting on the right. And also above that is a single six pin power connector. And on the back of the card, I'm a little bummed because I can't hit it because there's no back plate. Hmm. Hmm. What's up, EVGA? No back plate. Oh, I love. All right, moving on. Anyways, though. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, on the rear I.O., you guys can see there's a single DVI connector. A lot of people like that. You also see a single HDMI port and three display ports. Around the side of the card, you guys can see the heat fins permeated around the edge, and there's also a few heat pipes underneath there as well to keep the card running nice and cool. So that's what the card looks like. Now let's check out the speeds and the feeds. Inside the Superclock GTX 1060, we see 1280 pixel pipelines. We also see a base clock of 1607 megahertz and a boost clock speed of 1835 megahertz. The card also features six gigabytes of GDDR5 memory with a 192 bit memory interface. And the memory speed is 8008 megahertz, which equates to 192 gigabytes a second of total memory bandwidth. It's also recommended that you use a minimum of a 400 watt power supply to power up this Superclocked bad boy. All right, so that's what the card looks like. It's speeds and feeds. Now we test the card at its standard clock speeds, and then we also overclock this card to 2100 megahertz, and we have both those scores along with others so you can see how this card performs. So with that said, let's jump in, check out the test system, and then rock out to the benchmark song and see how the super clocked edition rocks for you. Our test system consists of an i7-6700K that we keep always running in turbo mode at 4.4 gigahertz. We're also using an ASRock motherboard and a bit of ripjaw memory. Also folks, before we bounce out of here, want to once again send a special thank you out to TalClean for bringing this video possible. And like usual, I'll have a link down below to that 50% off coupon. All right, folks, so there you have it, the Super Clocked Edition by EVG of the GTX 1060. Now, this thing performs really well and runs really cool. You guys can see that even overclocked to 2100 megahertz, this thing never got over 65 Celsius. And that's running this in the desert where it's very, very, very 
hot. Now, as far as the fan speeds go, we had the fan speeds at aggressive, and we also had the voltage set at the high settings to achieve this. Nothing else was done. This is pretty much just right out of the box, a couple of clicks on a screen, and boom, that instant awesome overclock. So this thing totally kicks ass on the Founders Edition. I mean, it's pretty much like a Founders Edition totally done right. So at the end of the day, I gotta say, this card is a serious, serious editor's choice. If you're looking for an entry level card that's under $300, you don't wanna break the bank and you want something awesome, this is the cards you're gonna wanna check out. Also, if you guys wanna see the full written review and even more testing, check out my friend Mark's channel. We'll have a link down below. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, down below the like button, we'll have information and links to where you guys can purchase one or just check out more information about this awesome card for yourself. We'll see you guys back here on the channel. Peace.